Good afternoon, early afternoon, on this hot, not very muggy, not a cloud in the sky, crystal clear ocean blue skies as the sun meets its max uh, intensity for today, and then slowly starts its descent into the western sky horizon. In the greater Bloomington metropolitan area in central Illinois, this is Vincenzo's Gold Crypto Investing, where you like, subscribe, and share on our way to 400 subscribers now for a one-of-a-kind, company-made, probability-based trading alert and technical analysis. And we're going to start off this update. Uh, I'm on lunch for a little bit longer, so this might be sort of a long update. Let's we'll see how into this I get, right? It's all about how motivated I am, but you can see Bitcoin. We drew out a little price for you. So you would know what's going on yesterday, right? Um, hold on, why I get situated? What's going on around here? Track's going according to plan. Um, what the motherfucker. Track's going according to plan. You can see we wrote it out for you the other day. Great, y'all. Right there with our industry exclusive drawing tool. And we got upper resistance at 38, 39, 40. And we said it's going to come down in your first lower support. This is uptrending yellow, which is about at current price, 38,000. And it's going to dance, which it's doing now. That's why we drew the dancing. And then we think it's coming down here in the next few days to a week, right? And then we think it's going to continue down in an up and down fashion, right? But we're currently in this bottom quadrant, right? Between upper resistance and lower support, and we're threatening to break into this quadrant right now, and then drop down into this quadrant with upper resistance and lower support. So we think we're gonna continue trading down in Bitcoin. Now in another breaking news, Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell, who's backed into a corner due to inflation, and now people are starting to get concerned about it, they had a two-day emergency Fed meeting to announce that the Fed would start thinking about, thinking about, thinking about uh, tightening monetary policy and raising interest rates. Well, they're not going to raise interest rates and they're not even going to talk about um, raising interest rates. They're going to say it's all transitory and as the summer and uh, fall progress, the economies are going to get more into full gear and uh, inflation that we're seeing now will start to dissipate. And as the products become available, like the computer chips and whatnot, used car prices will come down. Um, we'll be able to start selling those new cars, the products, consumer goods will be more in demand because the economies have been open long enough. He's not going to raise interest rates. And the markets that selling off gold, selling off long-term treasury yields and bonds and suppressing them um, because they think the Fed's going to raise interest rates because of inflation, they're out of their fucking mind. They can't raise interest rates. This whole house would come unglued. Federal Reserve will announce its latest policy decision this afternoon. Although the Fed is expected to keep interest rates pinned at near zero, the central banks may offer some clues on to when it will slow its aggressive asset purchase program. Since the death of the pandemic, the Fed has been snatching up $120 billion a month. I repeat, $120 billion a month in uh, inflation of, in U.S. Treasuries. And you're wondering why bond prices and Treasuries are being suppressed because they're buying $120 billion a month right artificial demand to keep the to keep the interest rate down with inflationary pressures rising as we continue to pay uh people to not work but to get money and that can consume and take out of the economy uh without producing and putting in yes it's going to have uh inflationary pressures um on the path to recovery some fed office officials said they were eager to have a uh, discussion on Paring back, paring back the pace of the so-called quantitative easing program or inflation, asset monetization, right? 
government monetization of debt is what that quantitative easing stands for, inflation, expanding the money supply. But the Fed remains concerned about the recovery in the labor market as job has made job data shows the economy is still seven and a half million jobs short of pre-pandemic levels. Because you can keep printing money at artificially low interest rates. It doesn't and give people money to stay home. It doesn't produce jobs. You can produce you can print money, but you can't print bread. You can't print cars. You can't print energy. You can't print oil. You can't print natural gas. You can't print consumer goods that we need to live. And if you think because we've had the biggest increase in producer price in the producer price index history, you think that's going to scare them? No. Producer prices climbed 6.5% in May on its annual basis, largest 12-month increase on record. That's not going to stop this guy with interest rates. He's going to continue the easy Fed policy, the dovish policy, or the hawkish for the markets, dovish for the dollar policies, and it's going to drive gold up, and it's going to drive the dollar down. If you think he's going to start tightening fiscal policy, you're fucking drunk. He can't, they never can, and they never will. We've already shown how they can't. We'll get more into that on fiscal and monetary policy Fridays. A little bit more onto it later on today. Some more on the updates tonight. I'll have some going off at 2, 3 in the morning when I'm not up. Dogecoin, same thing. We're going to end here. We drew this out for you the other day, and it's following it beautifully, right? And it's going to continue to follow it beautifully because this is just how the price is going to move, right? See that? Because we think eventually we're coming down a short-term target as soon as we break out of this descending panel, this channel, downwards overhead resist. Come on, downwards overhead resistance underneath support. As soon as we break this, we're threatening to do it now. We're coming down to 28 cents and we're going to bounce. And then we're going to trade our way down to 22 cents and we could bounce. And then we're going to trade our way down way, way down there to uh, less than 10 cents by the end of this year. Like, subscribe, and share. Not a financial advisor, nor do I play one of my own radios. All this is strictly educational entertainment only. I cannot recommend stocks, commodities, duh. crypto, gold, silver, bullion, or anything else. It's strictly my own personal opinions on the market and what I'm doing. As you can see, major underneath support, head and shoulders reversal pattern. Um, if breaks bears, I'll zoom out. If break, if it breaks bearish, major underneath support. Head and shoulders reversal pattern. If price breaks major 50 to 80% crash, date forecast made 6 8. And that would bring you way, way down there. And that's what we're going to go with. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love. Join Vincenzo's Gold Crypto Investing Jabroni Killers. $10 a month to support channel. Links above and below. Peace and love, jabroni killer. Peace and love on our way to 100 jabroni killers. Peace and love.